Oh, hey, Whitney. I was just on my way out. Is Teresa home yet? I haven't seen her. Look, I have to get back to the hospital to be with Charity. I'm sorry. How's she doing? Has she woken up yet? No. She hasn't moved since I pulled her out of the fire. Well, what does my mother say? She thinks Charity will make it, right? Your mother is a good doctor, Whitney. She's doing everything she can. But she says it's up to Charity to wake up. Then she will. Don't worry, Miguel. I'm trying not to, but... What? The thing is, the longer Charity's unconscious, the worse her odds are. I'm sorry. I'm not giving up, Whitney. No way. You shouldn't. We are all pulling for her. There may not be any hope left for Charity's mom, but I always felt that there was a miracle that brought Charity and me together. I'm counting on another one to bring her back to me. I've got to get back to Charity at the hospital, Whitney. Sure. Do you mind if I hang out here and wait for Teresa? Of course not. <sighs> Everything okay? Yeah, sure. Something happened to my sister at school today? <sighs> no, no. She arranged her schedule so she doesn't have classes today. She's working at the Crane Mansion. <sighs> she loves that job. I mean, I just don't know how she's gotten away with being there all this time. I guess that disguise of hers worked. Not exactly. That's why I'm here waiting for her. Oh, no. What happened? I've been so involved with Charity, I barely talked to Teresa lately. Don't worry, Miguel. There's nothing you could have done to stop this. How bad is it? Did Ethan Crane recognize her? No, but his private detective did. He's been suspicious that Teresa and I were covering up about the stalker for a while now. But he just now put it together that the stalker was Teresa. I mean, that's why I'm here. I called Teresa to warn her to get out of the crane house as quickly as she could. Thank God you got a hold of her. The only trouble is she hung up before I could warn her that Frank, the detective, was on his way over there to accuse her of stalking Ethan. What if she didn't get out of there in time? Let's hope she did. She sensed that there was some kind of danger and got out of there before Frank arrived. Or this guy Frank changed his mind and never went to the cranes. Or if he did, Teresa talked her way out of his accusations. You know how good she is at that. That's true. Still, if Teresa gets arrested for stalking Ethan, it'll kill my mom. Not to mention Luis. You know, don't even worry about that right now. You have so much on your mind with Charity. Everything's going to be okay with Teresa. You really think so, Whitney? Absolutely. I mean, if it wasn't, she would have called here by now, right? I guess. I'll be right back. I just remembered something I wanted to bring to the hospital for charity. God, I hope I'm right about Teresa. If I'm not... God, please don't let her get busted. This should do it. What's that? It's a good luck charm charity gave me. Maybe it'll work on her. You care about her so much, don't you, Miguel? I've never felt this way about any girl before. And the amazing thing is, I knew from the first moment I saw her at the carnival. I just knew she was the one. I'm happy for you. It'll happen to you one day too, Whitney. <sighs> you know, you better get out of here. I'm worried about Teresa. I feel like I ought to stay until she gets home and make sure she's okay. I'll wait here for Teresa. If anything happens, I'll call you at the hospital, okay? Charity's coming, too. I gotta get over there. I'm so happy for you. Give her my love, okay? I will. You really think Teresa's gonna be okay? Teresa will be fine. I'll call you if there's any trouble.